All right, what's up, YouTube? All right, so we're going to get into some fucking serious shit today about this Zeno band situation. Holy shit. And I'm not just talking about that he killed two people live on Facebook. Any old motherfucker can do that. That ain't shit, okay? But I don't know if you guys really understand what actually happened with this dude. It's very hard to understand drug-induced psychosis unless it's actually happened to you before, all right? So this is what must have happened, you guys. And this is almost probably to a T, right? So, dude was a rapper, wannabe rapper. That's why I tell you guys about these rappers. Don't be listening to these motherfuckers, man. All right? So, here's the story with Zeno Bands, which I didn't know. Now, one of his... In the video, he was saying that there was two people that were trying to set him up like some dude named like Uzi or Uggy or some shit like that that I think is already in jail for life and then another individual that went to jail for a murder for a situation that his boy basically just took the case to save him, okay? So, Zeno Bands' his homie took the murder case so Zeno could stay out here and live a nice life, right? Then look what he did. Like, oh, what the fuck, dog? You did some meth. Maybe some cocaine, but it was probably meth. And probably either in the probably the second or third day probably into your drug abuse you started hearing the demons alright now they're gonna come as voices in your head and they're gonna be voices of people that you care about and that you're cool with it's never gonna be a voice of just a random it's always a voice that you know you tell yourself nah that shit ain't even there but you keep hearing it but let me tell you guys the truth it's really there it's really there it's like another world that you cross in, over into where now they're fucking with you like a puppet because if you're a demon you can't draw blood yourself. You can't kill yourself. You can't rape. You can't do none of that shit. Even if that's your will, you have to trick a human being into acting it out for you. Okay? The easiest human beings to trick are individuals that are already violent and paranoid and that end up in a drug stupor are very easy even though they might be super intelligent people as soon as they cross over into the spirit world they don't know what the fuck's going on anymore you guys alright so he was basically thinking that his two homies were trying to kill him and that them two bitches that were probably just in his corner they were probably they were probably some hoes or something like that he was looked like he was trying to be a pimp or something like that that's why I tell y'all man fuck a pimp man motherfuckers are scumbags dog so so Buddy thinks these two bitches are trying to set him up and he either beats him to death or he shoots him or both. So 
And honestly, you guys, there wasn't nothing going on. The reason I say that is because the two individuals that he thought were trying to set him up that he was basically snitching on, on the live stream, y'all gotta understand the live stream was an act of desperation so he could stay alive. He thought it was over for him. He didn't put that shit on there, you guys. Because he was even really trying to get clout. He was scared. He would put that shit on there because he thought his life was about to end. And that was the last card he was playing was basically snitching. Is what I don't know how to take it any other way because when the police came at you, you didn't open up on them. You went to jail like all these bitch ass motherfuckers end up doing. Soon as the cops get involved, everybody folds. No resistance. Fuck. Uh -huh. But you just killed two motherfuckers and you're gone forever. But now you're scared to lose your life. That's how a lot of these tough guys be. When it comes their time, they beg for their life. Fucking rappers, dog. Like, damn. These, anybody can just make a dumbass fucking video on their iPhone and say they're a rapper. I could do it right now. Look the part. More than fucking probably 90% of these fools and call myself a rapper. Anybody is a rapper. Play a beat in the background and I'll just start talking. Now I'm a rapper. Okay? So, I just can't believe. I can believe it, but I'm, I'm actually surprised it doesn't happen more often. Because there's a lot of dangerous shit out here that will send somebody into psychosis what a, what you guys got to understand is a lot of drugs are actually hallucinogens even if they're not labeled that it'll cause you to fucking hallucinate you know so and the reason they're not labeled hallucinogens is because it doesn't happen right away it takes a couple of days of fucking up okay I've done this before, but not with that product. So I know exactly what occurs in your brain in these types of scenarios. You don't want to hurt anybody and end up trying to take out half the world. Okay? So this shit is extremely dangerous, you guys methamphetamine and cocaine and molly and any of these drugs that are going to cause you to be up for a certain amount of time without being able to sleep can cause this to happen to you even without drugs if you stay up too long the human brain starts to break down and you start to hallucinate and you will literally start to see things that are not there. You will start to hear things that are not there to the rest of the world, but in your world, because you've tapped into the spirit world, they're there. They're real for you. It really is happening. Nobody else is going to see it. Nobody else is going to hear it. But it's really happening to you. It's real. It can take your life. It can cause you to kill somebody that you love. This is real. It's real. Okay? That is the conclusion that I've drawn from having these types of experiences in the past. Due to drug abuse never sober never 
Like, yeah, I'm paranoid. But never to the degree of abusing any of those drugs, which you couldn't pay me to do any of those chemicals. It wouldn't matter. I would blow it on the ground and be like, get the fuck out of here, man. You know? Now, if you want to do those chemicals, I recommend that you don't. You know? But if you do, I will have an understanding of your sickness. You know? And I'll have maybe a little bit of empathy for you, but not too much. Not too much, because I've been there and I beat those kind of fucking demons. So I expect you to do it also. So I'm only going to have so much mercy on you if you fall victim to this demon spirit realm. It's not just a drug, you guys. It takes you to outer space. The twilight zone. You know? In the Greek, Greek and Hebrew religion, they consider drug abuse to be a form of witchcraft. And I just learned that maybe in the last six months. I've always kind of known, but I never really knew that certain religion had already written this and etched it in stone, you know, as shit that we shouldn't do as human beings. And if we do, then we lose our connection with God. Not permanently, but for a certain amount of time, we're with the demons, you know? So, Zeno seemed to be a bitch-ass motherfucker in the first place. Like, damn, his homie went and, I guess, did life for him, took a body, and this dude just caught two more. Man, that's why I said you, like, a motherfucker will fuck they whole team off out here, you guys. Like, this shit is retarded, man. A motherfucker will fuck their whole team off. And none of y'all have nothing to show for this shit. In a second. So, y'all gotta be careful, man, about who you hang around with, who you're influenced by, and what you're influenced by. You know what I'm saying? Like, them girls, man, I don't know what them young girls were thinking, man, but... It's just kind of sad that I know the last thing they were thinking is that this nigga's going to kill us. You know what I'm saying? If we invite him into our house, because my guy was saying he was from Sacramento. So he must have met some bitches out there in Vacaville, which you probably should be kind of paranoid if you're just meeting bitches and you just women in general, they can set you up and get you fucked up. And they do be guilty of a lot of fucked up shit. Okay. But in that scenario, I'm just not seeing it because the two people that he thought were trying to get him were his best friends. But that's how the demons work. That's how they'll play you. Right. So them bitches could have been like in love with that fool and he still killed him like that. You know, them could have been his two bottom bitches and he just got all twacked out because it's always the people that are close to you that you're gonna hear. It's never gonna be a stranger. It's always gonna be somebody that you're so appalled that they could even attempt to plot on you that you just snap. Because if it was a stranger plotting on you, the voice of a stranger, it wouldn't have the same effect. It has to be a familiar voice. It's always going to be somebody that you feel like you know in these scenarios of psychosis. That's always who you're going to think is your enemy.
is the closest people to you. This is how the demons tear you apart and get you to throw your whole life away for absolutely zero. It's pretty fucking amazing if you ask me. It's an amazing phenomenon that occurs. If you ask me. It's definitely some supernatural shit that is hella abnormal. But I think I cover, I'm going to jump back on this subject and I'm going to explain to you guys exactly the worst psychosis I ever went through and how it almost got me killed and how it almost got maybe even some police shot, you know, and this is all documented and the reason that I went to prison. I didn't want to talk about it for at least about nine or 10 years to actually talk about what really happened that day. Because I don't, at back then, I didn't really want that shit to be used against me at any point, which it can now once I speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, motherfuckers can use that at some point and be like, damn, bro, like you did say that back then, you know? So when I tell this story, it's not going to incriminate me on anything relevant to statute of limitations, but it's going to make me look hella bad as far as like how volatile um, my, my, my whole psychological well-being can become, you know? So it's a story that I've avoided telling, except for to a few people. But it was some fucking serious shit. But I'm out, you guys.